KSP Northeast Trade Show in Secaucus, New Jersey. We're live on the show floor on the last day talking to Jeff McDowell about all the excitement that happened. Jeff, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Thank you, Kristen. Lovely to be with you. It's been a great weekend. Tell us a little bit about the show and what we what we missed this year if we weren't here with you. Oh, it's it's been an extraordinary weekend for us. Uh, we really pulled out all the stops in our marketing this year and it really shows with the floor traffic. The vendors are very happy. We've got a lot of diversified vendors this year, more vendors than ever. And it's really, really gone well for us this year. Now, I've noticed a lot of things this, this weekend so far. So attendance is up. Exactly. Exhibitors are up, Absolutely. and there's more training on the schedule this year than there was last year. What we did this year as far as the training was we tried to go for quality and not quantity. And so we were able to get better seminars and more people in the room. Right. I also noticed that there was um, a lot of training on the floor, like within exhibitor booths. There was a lot of hands-on things for the shops to touch this year. Part of what generated that was this year we held a vendor boot camp. So it was uh, provided to have a trade show trainer come in and explain to the vendors how they could better utilize their booth space and generate more leads and more sales. And that actually created a lot of new ideas for people, and some of that was the training that you talked about. Now for the shops that came and attended an event, I know a lot of them were members of AASP. Some weren't, they just noticed that there was a trade show coming and got a chance to get in and get exposed to all of this. For those out there that aren't a member of the association, what does AASP do for the shops in the area surrounding New Jersey, New York, etc.? Well, what we do uh, for the shops, number one, is as an individual, it's pretty hard to stand for yourself. But in unification for all the members that we have, we have a larger voice, we have a larger voice with the politicians in Trenton, and uh, we try to protect our membership from any legislation that might go, come in uh, that would be adverse to uh, their business. Uh, and uh, marketing, we help with education, training, keeping people updated for their license. They need training for their license, we usually provide that for them. Uh, we had training programs here at the show that they could take advantage of that qualified for their license renewal. So really, you guys kind of become like an overarching partner for the shop, more than just an association. Absolutely. Taking them through everything they need to run their business daily. Absolutely. And our hotline, which our executive director demands, if they have any kind of problem at all, they just call in and he's right there on the spot to help them out. It's always nice to have that phone a friend option in your pocket when you're a shop to have a resource to go to that's going to pick up your side of the of the fight or the the disagreement and kind of take your case up to a higher level than what as you said as an individual we can do um, so for those that didn't join us this year our plans already in the works for 2013 absolutely absolutely bigger and better so if I'm interested in exhibiting, they can go ahead and get in touch with the association now and start planning their, their They trip here. absolutely should, and the earlier they book, the better spot they're going to get in the, in the show. So uh, That's great. Guys, if you missed the AASP show from New Jersey this year, you missed a great event. There was increased exhibitors, attendance, and the training was off the charts. Some of the hands-on training you could do with structure, welding, refinishing was some of the best I've seen. So make your plans next year to join us here in New Jersey for the AASP Northeast 2013.